In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to get around and get busy with the brand new, incredibly powerful sound toys, Effect Rack. As the centerpiece of our new Sound Toys 5, Effect Rack is kind of a long time dream of Sound Toys come true. Uh, since the very beginning, the idea was to take all these amazing components and be able to combine them together. And that's exactly what Effect Rack is. It's an incredibly powerful tool, and I'm going to say powerful a whole lot in this video, so maybe you want to take a shot every time I say it. Whatever. But uh, it is powerful. Bam for you. Uh, because these plugins have already proven themselves powerful to begin with as individual plugins, Echo Boy, Decapitator, um, uh, a lot of our plugins are just kind of renowned. What else can I say? People like them. Uh, but being able to put them together and really create some amazing new sounds, stuff that's just not possible with a, a single plugin, that's, that's kind of the mega power, powerful uh, part of, of Effect Rack. I'm sorry, I had to take a little break there. Thinking about how powerful this plugin is just makes me a little misty-eyed. Anyway, uh, one of the things that makes it so powerful is it's powerfully easy to use. Man, it's so easy to use. Let's check it out. Uh, let's go uh, pull up the preset menu here and uh, pull up default. Wow. Okay, so there it is. It says drag effects here. I'm pointing like I'm pointing to your screen, but uh, and that's what you do. You grab an effect. You can see over here on the side is your gear closet where all the plugins are kept. You can scroll down and see all of them and grab one that you like and throw it in the rack. And that's how easy it is. And then you throw another one in and then you throw another one in and then you throw another one in and, you know, just build whatever you want. It's really, really powerful. You can also rearrange them. You can drag, I want my pan man up here. I want my microshift down here. Uh, you know what, I've already got Echo Boy, so I'm gonna pull Primal Tap out and put it back in the gear closet. Uh, but you know, pan man's not cutting it, so grab Filter Freak and drag it on top of pan man and it replaces it. So you got a lot of really cool stuff. And as you see, once you build your rack, um, you actually can uh, put Filter Freak down here. Uh, you got to scroll on this as well so you can kind of see the whole thing. It's really, really fast kind of workflow. to So your creativity is what's driving it. And you don't have to slow down to be creative. You can ride that wave. <laughs> Okay, so we have seen that it's pretty easy to build your own rack, your own custom setup. Uh, uh, you can, of course, save that uh, on your own and, and create like crazy. You can use something from the, uh, the preset library up here, whatever you want to pull up. There's a lot of different options. Um, but one really cool thing about creating on the fly and kind of loading this up on your own, let's uh, go back to the beginning here and say, hey, I'm going to pull in Filter Freak. And I love that patch I made for Filter Freak. Ah, I just I don't want to recreate it from scratch because it was kind of a cool rhythmic thing. Well, you've got access to all the individual presets. This little button right up here uh, brings up the individual uh, preset menus for each one of the plugins and you can pull up whatever uh, cool let's see thing here <laughs> and have access to all your individual presets for uh, all of the plugins uh, then of course you can save it up here and that goes into your user folder so uh, it's very fast workflow powerful
speaking of workflow and powerful, uh, there are a couple of other buttons over here on the side that uh, make the workflow uh, flow. Uh, <laughs> those are, of course, this little green button here, which looks like a power switch because it is, is your bypass which makes it really nice to be able to have a full rack full of, of gear and go, what's this adding or what's it doing or where the heck is that noise coming from? You know, whatever. Uh, of course, right below that is the opposite, which is solo. So you can hear just exactly what the one plugin is doing in the rack on its own. So uh, those make life much nicer. Up here in the master section, there's a few other buttons that do some cool stuff. And that is, uh, let's load this up. Well, actually, let's... Do this. The size buttons allow you to select auto, which automatically sizes the, the rack as you saw as, as it would grow when we put stuff in there as things grow. Uh, or you can do full so you can always see it and be manly constantly. Uh, you can do small if you're so compelled to do so. I actually like small and yeah, but uh, because it kind of decreases the screen space and lets you do some stuff. And it also hides part of your rack if you want to be super secret and sneaky. Uh, the other thing on the side here is the show gear, hide gear. Uh, you press the button and your gear closet goes away. So that also reduces the size of uh, the, the space that the rack is taken up. So uh, that it's, those features are, of course, powerful. If you're new to Sound Toys, you may not know this. Uh, if you've been a fan of Sound Toys, hopefully you know this, but our plugins are all very rhythmic. Some of them are super duper rhythmic and others are super rhythmic without the duper, but it doesn't make them any less duper. They're, they're... Anyway, uh, what I wanna show here is how the rack adds to that, but let's take a look at what I mean by individually powerfully rhythmic powerful um, by looking at Tremolator and the tweak menu and Tremolator. The new tweak menus in Sound Toys 5 are so cool. They're, they give you a kind of a instant access. It feels so, really hands-on. Why don't I shut up and show it to you? Tweak button, go! So now you can see here is our, our, our rhythm editor. It's very easy to get to. It's very easy to change things. It's very easy to add things and stretch them out, move them around, change no values, uh, do all, it, it's really easy, really fast. Rhythm editor is right there. You can save your own custom rhythms. They can switch between uh, different plugins for your custom rhythms. It's, it's a powerful system. As I keep saying, it's powerful. Oh my gosh, everyone's passing out. Um, so anyway, with the effect rack, that allows you to lock, I'm gonna close this tweak menu down, bam. Uh, everything to host tempo. We're on MIDI switched and anything that's got the MIDI switch on at the time on the rack is going to be synced to that 136, 136 and that's locked to host tempo. You can switch in the master section to free and that kind of lets you do your own thing. So you can scroll the tempo down and I'm 62 and now they're all at 62. Uh, I can tap in tempo. That's my tap tempo song. And uh, you know everything's synced to my tap tempo, um, but if you switch to MIDI and you want uh, to get in there and do some uh, kind of cool, not so locked things, you can turn off the MIDI switch on any of the plugins that you want and let them kind of freeform. So you can change their tempo to something else, and while everything else is staying locked, it's an incredibly powerful system. Yes, that's right. It is. Uh, and then you can create some insane rhythmic textures. You can change completely morph uh, anything into a groove and a rhythm. So that's the rhythm part of Effect Rack. Let's take a look at some of the other tools that are in our master section that uh, make Effect Rack powerful. Um, it has an input and output control, so you can back off the input, you can back off the output, you know, control your volume. It has a mix control, and the mix control is sweet uh, because the mix control obviously lets you mix back in whatever you've created. So you've created this uh, incredible um, swirling reverb, pitch shifting, uh, phasing, 
uh, enhancer to your shredding guitar lead that you've got, and you can mix just the right amount of that onto your guitar lead. Um, the other, and you know, that's actually it saves you a ton of time for routing and having to patch out to all the multi effects and the different channels and mix in the right amount. It's all right there with a simple mix switch right on the front panel of the master section of Effect Rack. But, and again, to take a look at this, you still have control over the individual mixes for each one of the plugins. So if you wanted to be uh, you know, a nice tremolo going into a filter and you're panning and you're phasing, but down at Echo Boy, you want to keep all that cool stuff you built up there and your echo in there so you can you can mix back in some of the dry before it uh, right there in the rack. Again, tons of time trying to route in a mix situation. You do it all right here in the effect rack. Now, let's go up to this unique feature. This is one of my favorites and it's very powerful. Uh, and also a, a time saver. And I don't even know if you could do this. I guess you could but routing stuff around uh, create this, but it's the recycle knob right here. It's feedback. It allows you to recycle and feed back from out of the rack back into itself. So with time-based effects like uh, Echo Boy and Crystallizer and uh, Primal Tap, those kinds of things, it allows it to continue through the path again and create kind of bigger, longer feedback paths and reverb effects, which is incredibly cool because you can create some big, dense reverb types of sounds, but also with modulation in a filter phase, whatever. It's, uh, it's really, really cool and effective. Now, you know, if you're putting gain plugins in there, it could do its what feedback does and that squeal. And, you know, so you have to be careful because uh, although sometimes squealing is good, <laughs> uh, sometimes squealing is bad. Uh, so uh, be careful with the recycle knob while, while you're building, and uh, but try it. I mean, it's 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 cool. It's uh, you never know what you're going to get, and who knows? You might just need a squeal. It might be exactly what you're looking for at that moment. So hopefully that gives you some uh, insight into how to get around in an effect rack and get the most out of it yourself. That's, we're so excited to bring this to you and see what everyone does with it. It's just, it's an incredible tool. If I had to sum up effect rack in one word, I think that word would be amazing.